Hey guys, I thought we'd try a classic on the mandolin. Um, I'm gonna try and go nice and slow. I'm also gonna try and keep my hand up here so you can see. Um, and I'm not gonna do any twiddly things on it. We're just gonna try and play straight. We're in three, four times. I think waltz, think one, two, three, one, two, three. But don't go that fast, nice and slow. So, one, two, three. Good, and I'm just gonna tune this monkey up because I could hear instantly that D went out. Okay, so things to remember with this one, you come in on beat three. So you're gonna have your, I'll try and get this hand back up there. I'm mean, just doing straight picking here, nothing fancy. So you come in on three, you go one, two, three, and then you've got a minimum straight away. One, two, three, one, two, three. There you've got your dotted crotchet to your quaver, so think dumpty for these, just think dump ti dum because it's easier than trying to work out all the maths dump ti dum another minim whoops another minim minim oh I really should use that finger, this is why we use the specific fingers um, it occurred to me while I was just finishing that off, I was thinking, oh minim, Americans aren't gonna understand what you're on about Rose. Um, let me try and translate. So quarter notes your crotchet and I think you guys call it a whole note for your minimum. So basically it's worth two, okay? All right, so let's have a little look at how you can make this a little bit more interesting. So say you're not playing with anyone else, you're just amusing yourself. So you can put a little tremolo in it. Okay, now my tremolo might be terrible today because I'm a little bit cold, but uh, bear with me. We can see what we can achieve. So one, two, So yes, I got the cold as an excuse, and also I'm way up the neck. I should be back down here if I'm doing my tremolo over the sound hole, but that's okay. You get the idea. So um, a few little things, really. Um, well, the major thing is whenever you have two notes next to each other. So bar 18, for instance, you got two ones. So I bring it back down. You could do it separately, or you could just hold it down. Actually, I'm gonna move my hand back so I can get a better tremolo. etc. Um, it's up to you really and you can play with the dynamics to make it more interesting and dynamics is just the volume so you could start loud and then bring it back whatever you want um, on the ending you could even have a diminuendo so you got two fives next to each other um, so if you had a diminuendo you're getting quieter so you could go and just think fade out let it fade out or you could have some fortes you could do them as they're written, but do it forte. But again, do it better than I'm doing it today. <laughs> um, the beauty of when you're not playing with someone is you're not in strict time, so you can really enjoy this. You could do tremolo all the way through if you want to. One, two. Which is also quite lovely. 
of fun to try and helps you work on your tremolo game. Um, so the only thing left for me to do is to give you some backing on guitar because this is in G minor. It doesn't mean you can't play it on mandolin. You can if you want to. It's just it's a little bit... The first bit's fine, then we get into E flat territory and it's like, oh, I'll just give it to you on guitar. Um, I'll try and do it as slow as I can, okay guys? So I hope that you enjoy playing this one. This is lots of fun. Very traditional. Okay, so here's your guitar backing for green sleeves. I'll try and go slow. So, one, two, three. <laughs> bar 18 you have a dotted whole note dotted minim which is gonna be worth three okay so you must hold that one for three because it basically the way you can really obviously tell is it's filling up the whole bar so even if the dot froze you just think well they clearly want me to fill the whole bar i know it's in three four so it's got to be three sorry should have mentioned that earlier okay so let's do it one more time so you get a different speed hopefully so one two three <laughs> you go sorry if i totally disappeared up the neck and into another world i was getting into that then and finally i'm just gonna do a little piece of that just so that you get an idea if you've listened to it twice now and you're like what does she mean what does she mean the guitar backing i'll just hum it for you so i mean one two mm -hmm. of how it all fits in. Um, I would have sang it, but um, I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Um, that's the back end. I really hope you enjoy playing along to it. I hope this has all been worthwhile. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thanks. Bye, guys.